So I've got Gary here, Gary's going to lay on his back, he's going to pull guard on me. Okay. So I'm in my guard, okay. There's two places in guard you want to be. I either want to be upright where he can't reach me and grab my collars on the rest of it, or I want to be there. Okay. Anything in the middle, Gary can choke me and he can also manipulate me and do all sorts of terrible things. I personally, I find this really, really stressful and my joints and the rest of it, so I tend to close the gap as quick as I can to stop him getting his hands in to try and choke me. That's just my personal preference. What I'm going to do, whichever way you want to go, I'm going to check a bicep and I'm going to put my hand underneath and I'm going to grab his collar on the top. That's where I want to be. Okay, so I'm in this position, I'm going to I reach through, grab it, check the bicep. And I want to be able to be there. And he can be trying to push his arm around to make life really, really miserable for him. And the ad that's grabbing his collar, I'm going to put that knee into his backside and I'm going to put my other knee as far as I can. I'm going to turn my belly button to his knee. I'm turning my belly button to his knee. Alright, so we go back in. I'm in this position, I reach through, I grab his collar, I push out, and that's where I want to be, I'm controlling him. This is the attacking arm now because I'm going that way, I'm not worried about that arm. Okay, so I'm grabbing a little bit, grabbing it, whatever I want to do, I'm just controlling it. I put my knee into his backside and I base it out as far as I can and I start to walk and I put my belly button into it. This allows me to pass and I'll still get the under up and I'm still in my control position. Okay guys, do it again. Sorry, guys. So, again, I'm in here, I don't want to be upright, because if, if I'm down here, Gary can't choke me, he can't get his hands in, if I'm miserable, I reach through and grab his collar, grab his bicep, and I'll put the same knee, same hand on the collar, same knee into the, his, the crack of his backside, and I'll widen my base as far as I can, okay? I turn my hips, so my belly button is facing his knee, and then I start to walk. So I'm in this position, pop, I put my knee there, I walk out here, and I turn my hips and I start to walk. And I've got my, my pass is where I want to be, and I've got my control on him, and hopefully things should work from there. So I'm just around that. Okay, again. So I'm in this position, I want to close the gap between me and Gar. I don't want to make quick space where he can do terrible things to me, so I'm going to belly to belly. I reach up, I grab his lapel, and I grab his bicep or his gee, and I'm controlling it. This knee here, I'm going to put into his backside. And then I'm going to step across, and I'm going to turn my hips so my belly button is facing his knee. And then I'm going to start walking. Okay, and keeping my hips down nice and tight, his legs sit back from underneath me. And I've got my control to where I want to be. And hopefully, I've passed guard, I can now start to fight him. <laughs> so again, I'm in this position, close the gap, get myself out of danger area. If I stay here, that's danger. Okay? If you come around me, pose it across, that's because there was a gap there. It's danger. So I'm either going to be there or there. So I reach in, I grab my pub, I grab my bicep, take control of it. I put my knee into the crack on the back side. And I step out and I turn my hips and my belly button towards his knee. And I keep sprawling, and his leg comes up, and then I get to where I want to be, and now I've got my side control. Okay, guys. Cheers, man. Okay. It's just another way of passing guard. Hopefully, it works for you. Give it a go, see what you think. Cheers.